Hey everyone, and welcome back to Fresh and Healthy YouTube. So today was an exciting morning and day in general, just because the Tallahassee Democrat, a local newspaper here, decided to do an article on me about my story and everything. But that is not the reason why I'm making this video. The reason why I'm making this video actually is because after my devotion this morning, it just made me remember such amazing things and there's a few things in this article that were left out that I would really like to include about my story and so I started writing a blog post on just what this article kind of made me remember and some really good truths and some help for those that are struggling with similar things. So go check out that blog post first. But um, I don't know. So my devotion this morning, it's so funny how it aligns so well. It just talked about how when you experience a setback, instead of viewing it as a setback, view it as an opportunity. An opportunity to see God work, His power, to get closer to Him, and to see something good come out of something that could have been negative in your life. And you guys have been listening to any of my videos in the past if you've read any of my blog posts if you've been a long time follower you know that i had a past that could definitely be considered as a huge setback um but it's really awesome because after being interviewed for this article it just reminded me of how the setback was turned into the greatest opportunity i could have ever imagined and it helped me to be able to help other people and it helped me to take something very negative in my life and help other people for the best and help them either avoid going through it themselves or help them come out of it and i was kind of getting discouraged the other day because i was just kind of feeling like I don't know, I got stuck in the comparison game and trying to think that I wasn't making a huge impact on people's lives, um, that I wasn't going to reach as many people as others were. And it's so cool because someone wrote a testimonial to me and it literally made me cry. And it says this, I began following Sarah on social media my freshman year of high school. I met her through cross country and mutual friends. She didn't know who I was, but I definitely knew who she was. She was a beautiful and talented runner who that year became a state champion in cross country. Little did I know there was so much more to her. She possessed the high morals and values that everyone wished they could obtain. To say I was obsessed with her is an understatement. Sarah was everything I wanted to be and more. She instantly became my role model. I became the person I am today, and I have Sarah to thank for that. She doesn't even realize the extent of how much I look up to her. I knew if I worked as hard as Sarah did, if I continued to make the right choices, both in high school and college, then I could accomplish any goal I set forth. Whether it be running, school, personal, or health-related, I mean, my mantra was always, what would Sarah Span do? I know it's very weird, but I credit that for a big portion of where I am today. Maybe I felt more connected to Sarah because we shared a similar past. We both struggled with an eating disorder at an early age and were learning how to live a healthy life again. I was never open about my condition with anyone, so it was refreshing to know I was not alone. I never wanted my eating disorder to define who I was, and Sarah showed me that it was possible. She was the affirmation that a bump in my past doesn't define you, but strengthens you. Her creation of Fresh Fit and Healthy is a prime example. From her, I learned how to direct my passions for fitness and healthy living into a career. Although an eating disorder is something I will continue to live with for the rest of my life, Sarah has shown me how to overcome an obstacle and succeed with flying colors. She showed me how to love myself again, and I couldn't be more thankful. And honestly, that literally brought tears to my eyes and just made me realize that in my discouragement, in my time of thinking I wasn't reaching that many people, that even if it's just that one person I affected and that I helped, it's all worth it. And so I just wanted to leave off with some truths for you guys. I'm sorry if you don't 
follow God and if you are against him or don't believe in him, I hope that this doesn't offend you. I don't mean for this to offend anyone, um, but I feel like I have to share what helped me the most overcome and that is God and that is his promises and his word and prayer with him and no matter if you follow him or not he can help you overcome like he can give you hope and so I journaled this morning and I just wanted to read a verse that really spoke to me through this time and that is Isaiah 61 3 and it says to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes the oil of joy instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair they will be called oaks of righteousness a planting of the Lord for this display of his splendor and I just feel like that couldn't be true in my life like he took my mourning and turned it into joy he took my ashes and turned it into beauty and I just really love those promises and also there's a verse Job 8 21 and it says he will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy and then there's Ecclesiastes 3 11 and that just says he has made everything beautiful in its time and so there are so many verses out there that can help you they can give you hope during any dark time that you're experiencing but I just want to say out there whether it's something similar to what I struggle with or something completely different from what I've struggled with if you're experiencing a setback try to view it as an opportunity try to see something good that can come out of it and know that in the future it can be turned into something so so good whether it be positive in your life positive in other people's lives fresh fit and healthy came out of my major setback out of my eating disorder and it is so cool to see the impact it's had now on other people's lives. So there are my thoughts. There's my encouragement. Go read the blog post if you haven't already. And thank you all for your love and support. It really does mean everything to me. Your comments, your emails to me, sharing your story, sharing how I've impacted you. It literally means the world to me. and either brings a smile or sometimes even tears to my face but either way I'm so thankful and thank you for everything and I will see you soon back here on Fresh and Healthy YouTube. Bye guys! You are here with me. Yes, you are here.